Circuit, and today we're going to be making the cheesy, scrumptious, beloved, one and only Velveeta Mac and Cheese. This is a classic meal that everyone enjoys and is just a timeless piece. It is just amazing. So we're going to go right to it. But before that, we're going to have to list off the ingredients. So you need a spoon. You need the cup. You need water, a microwave, and a hungry stuff. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. Now remember, only the professional chefs can actually make this dish because amateurs just always get it wrong and it is a very hard dish to perfect. So uh, make sure, you know, to practice and all that stuff because let me tell you, it's hard to get. Okay, so if you're a good chef, you don't need to read the instructions, but just in case for all of you newbies out there, I'll, I'll read it just in case. Okay. So it says, remove the lid and cheese sauce pouch. Here's the cheese sauce pouch, if I can get it out. Okay, that's good. Next, it says to add water at the line. There's a line in here, but I don't know if you can see it. So let's go to the sink. Some tap water or uh, filter water, I don't care. You're gonna be microwaving it anyway, so whatever. And make sure to put plenty of water, obviously not too much, because uh, you know you don't want it super liquidy, but you also don't want to catch the microwave on fire, okay? So just do what they tell you, all right? Okay, that's pretty good. Now, we're going to move it over to the microwave. Now, just stir it up just a tiny bit, so then you can get all that weird particle stuff mixed around. Okay, that's good. Set that aside. And then you're ready to microwave. Now, it says you can do it as approximate minutes, but we're just going to do... Eh, three and a half minutes. And remember, do not keep this covered because then it will overfill. All right? So, there we go. And, oh, well, it says five minutes, but hey, that's okay. We'll make mistakes, but I'll just uh, make sure to get it then. Okay, so I think it's about done here. A little over three minutes. We're gonna get it up. Don't burn your paws or claws or feathers or whatever you have. And it's done cooking. Put this in there, might as well. And we're gonna have to open the cheese pack. A little hard with paws, but that's why you have a uh, trusty scissor. If you really have to, take off your paws. I'm sorry. Warning, warning. Do not look if you are triggered by human hands. All right, so that's pretty much done. Uh, yeah, that's good enough. So make sure to throw this away because no one wants to see your trash all over. Move this aside just to close the microwave. Put your paw back on so then it doesn't look really weird. Put the scissors away, of course. This is uh, very important because you want to make sure that every single piece of macaroni gets the cheese because then it can't be called macaroni and cheese if there's no cheese, okay? So just mix it well. Once you've got it all mixed up, go have a seat and enjoy your beautiful macaroni and cheese. Let's go try it. All right, let's taste this bad boy. Yeah, okay, that's, that's good. I definitely tried it. Okay, that was, that was great. 
That was just amazing. <laughs> you guys obviously saw that I tried it. Uh, yeah, just pretend I ate, okay? It was good. It was great. Well, I hope you guys all tried at home because this is just the best meal ever. Uh, see you next time on Circuit Cooks. And I'm glad you joined. Bye.